Yes, so guys, welcome back again to our channel. In case you are new here, do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Sugar King Vlog. Yes. So, I want to talk about a chat I had with a friend that is in China. Yes, I had a chat with a friend yesterday, last night. He's in China. Yes, he went to China to buy some goods. Yes. And I decided to chat with, chat with him. Yes. So, I'm going to be reading from here. I will not, I don't want to waste our time. For those of us that want to know about China, for those of us that want to get China visas, yes, so this is it. I'm not the one that processes China visas, though, but maybe very soon I'll be processing China visas. Who knows? Yes. So this is it. He told me that 90% of Chinese know Sabi speak English language. He so said 90% of Chinese language, Chinese people don't know how to speak English language. Let me, he said many things, so wait. He said, he said, Chinese people, they love to cheat people. That they like money, like Igbo people. <laughs> he said, their attitude is like Aosa or Fulani. And he said, they, 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 they sabi provoke person. He also said that, this what, is this what used to go on in Chinese, especially their laws. He said, they will intentionally do something that will make you to beat them. Or to push them and if you hit them police will arrest you and you will pay money to them to the person that you fought with you you'll pay money to them if you fight and you could be deported or penalized be here you know he said he, he told me a story this is it he told me something a story this is it he said he said four guys we are deported for fighting he said three people were fighting the other one was just looking. Then one Chinese man started making video. The man that was looking, you know, three guys were fighting. One was looking. Then the one that was looking, the one that was standing on his own, now hit the phone that the, Chinese, that the Chinese man hold. Now hit the phone. You understand? That was his crime. So the so police were now looking for the four guys, the four Nigerian guys. Imagine it was four nigerian guys that were fighting one chinese man was just standing and he was videoing it he was videoing it so you know it is three nigerian guys and one was standing so the one that was standing now hit the phone of the chinese man that was his crime oh. not to consider the chinese man for where nigeria the fight oh. so police started looking for the four guys the one that now hit the phone now went to go and bab his hair he went, went to go and scrape off his hair including his long beards but it was not up to two weeks that he was caught and they deported him back to Nigeria. He said, fighting is not allowed. If you hit somebody by mistake, if you don't settle the person, whether him or her, police will come and they, that is where Wahala did. Yo. Then number one, they will test if you have alcohol in your system. If you have alcohol in your system, there's penalty for that. He said, if you are at fault, you will pay the person treatment. Even if the person did not injure, you will pay the person treatment for checkup. And if the person now pretend that he has fractured his bone, that his bone has broken, <laughs> he said, my dear, you will pay him money that he requests. Let me he explain it to you. He said it's the law that if the person says he cannot walk, police will take the person to hospital, that you will pay for x-ray. And if the person said he's not able to stand, as long as the person is in the hospital, you will be the one that will be feeding the Chinese man family. You will be the one that will be paying the Chinese man salary. If the Chinese man say he's working and he gets paid like 5,000 RMB, that it is 5,000 RMB you'll be paying. Imagine you know, what Chinese people are doing. So, 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 wait, just, just watch you. Just, just listen because it's plenty that he said. He said, his former boss wife mistakenly hit one man hand. And it is not that the bike was on motion or anything, that she was on traffic. Then she now left the bike handle. So the thing, he can't touch the man for a wrist. Say, she said the bike was on motion and the bike now hit the man wrist. That is wrist. This is wrist. Hand. That the man now fell on the ground and the man started shouting that she has broken his hand. You understand? His former boss wife was driving bicycle. You understand? And 
she she wanted to dodge this Chinese man, but the hand, the hand, you know, the hand of the bicycle now hit the wrist of the man. So the man, the Chinese man, now fell down. He now started shouting that she has broken his hand. On that spot, the Chinese man collected five hundred RMB. That is in the Chinese currency, five hundred RMB. He said sometimes they will intentionally come close to you, so that you can just hit them and touch them. You understand? He said. He said, and when they do that, they will be laughing. He said, laugh now their way. They don't used to say sorry. If you do them bad, they will be laughing like Mumu. Imagine. <laughs> Chinese people. And if they go to Nigeria, you go to greet and say, hey, Twali, boss, see what If you go to their country, another thing you go to face. So. He said, this is about accommodation. You understand? This is about accommodation now. He said, they don't give good house. They don't give house in a good garden to foreigners. Except if you are married to Chinese. And if you use Chinese person to front, that is if you use a Chinese person to get house, then you have to be living like criminal inside the house. Because, because, because if people see foreigners inside a big house, they will call the police and say that foreigners is living in this house. So what you have to do is that you have to bribe securities that are at the gates. The securities that are always securing the gate before you enter the house, just like estates now. And you have to be giving them or dashing them 5 yon, 50 yon, 100 yon, etc. So that if anything wants to happen, if the police are coming, the securities, they can inform you so that you can take up your way. You know, so that you can take backyard or you can escape or something like that. So that you can just go and hide for the meantime, even if you have not committed any crime. You understand? He, said, he also said that there are some Chinese that used to see Africans just the way that we used to see them in Nigeria now, like Oyimbo. But and there are some Chinese that used to see Africans like, ah, you are a black man. You understand? You are a black man. Ah, let me take picture with you. You know? And some of them would secretly beg you for pictures, while some would secretly video you. Hmm. Now, wow. He said there are some that hate blacks. That if you are passing. They will cover their nose and they will not sit near you. That even if you are in the bus, if you are if you are supposed to sit beside them now, you know two in a bus, two on his on a row. That if you are supposed to sit beside them, that they will not they don't even mind standing in the bus till they get wherever they are going. <laughs> he also said that now only Nigerians will get company fee employed blacks. You understand? And that fellow Igbos, Igbo people, used to employ Igbos, but you will not receive the same salary as Chinese. Plus, the Igbo people, your Igbo, Igbo employers, will be warning you against police catching you. You understand that thing? It means that, it means that, it's very hard for the Chinese to employ a black man. You understand? That for you to get employed there, it is your own, own fellow nationality. Your own fellow Igbos. And you know that in Chinese, in China, there's a particular area in China, Gazo. I'm sure some of us have heard of Gazo. There's a particular place that 80%, that place is 80% Igbos. Igbo people dominate that place. That particular town. So if you are going to Chinese, if you are going to China, sorry, if you are going to China, you have to land there first. You understand? Because it is that community that will integrate you. It is that community that will let you know you do's and don'ts. You understand? This is what he talked about marriage to Chinese. He talked about marriage to Chinese. He said, the best way to get married, the best way to secure papers in China is to have a child or children. It will give you upper hand in the country or province. He said, but if the woman knows you are using marriage sats, she will want to be controlling you. You understand, which is a normal thing. They said they, he said they love controlling and monitoring their husbands. If you do strong head, she will try to divorce you and report you to the police that you don't have papers. She, he now said that they will deport you. Even on marriage, they will deport yourself. <laughs> you understand? So he said what you need to do is that try to get permanent residency. 
But if you have kids with a Chinese woman, with a Chinese woman, use your kids as your paper. You understand? Yes, use your kids as your paper. It's your kids that will cover you in the marriage itself or even in the country. Hmm. Now, wow. He also said, this is what, another thing he said again was that what Nigerian men that are married to Chinese women are facing, whether they have papers or not, my dear brother, they would tolerate that for Nigerian girls, but they would just keep quiet and act as if all is well. <laughs> he said, he said, out of 80% of people, 50 no get papers, 20% are on marriage, 7% get paper, then 30% get kids. Hmm. Now, wow. He said, now nah, COVID-19 make some Igbo people get papers right now. You understand? Hmm. Because he said that that COVID-19, that government told them that it is Africans that are bringing the disease. I remember that COVID-19 was when it, was, it originated from China. So the government now said that spread rumors that it is Africans that brought the COVID-19. But later, when the Chinese now discover that no African is dying, no, that it is only Chinese that is dying, that's why they now discover that Africans cannot carry the disease. Africans cannot die because of uh, COVID-19. You understand? That was when they started getting married to Africans during that COVID-19 era. era. Mingle with blacks. Chances for survival are more but play lone wolf because nobody will stand for you. If Chinese cheat you out of your money, now fellow Nigerians will get Lego, help you retrieve them, and you won't show face because you never get paper to avoid deportation. Do you understand that? He said that when you first land there, land in a black community, that's the meaning, land in a black community because if you want to survive, you can survive more within a black community instead of within a Chinese community. That if anything happens to you, nobody will stand for you. Even black will not stand for you. But if a Chinese man cheats you, that it is fellow Nigerians that have been long in the country, we get leg, that have money, or they have connections that know the way out, that know the law more than you, that can help you retrieve the money. And you don't even need to show face because you don't even have papers. You don't have legal papers. If you show face now, police can come and deport you. Hmm. He said that, then he now talked about Gaza, that same place I was talking about earlier. He said, Gaza is a big city like Beijing and Shanghai. And Shanghai, ETC. And Gaza is a main China. It is a tight gun, but inside village, no day hot. That is... Gaza is very tight. It's a big city, but it's very tight. But inside Gaza, there's, there are some villages, but the villages are not hot. There's no much police presence, but police presence is much in the city. That's why most of them are there. You understand? Most of them are inside, inside the villages. Most people that don't have papers are always inside the villages. You understand? They sent me some pictures. They sent me some pictures. You understand? So, uh, rather, some videos. You understand? So, that is what you need to know about China. For those of us that want to go to China, make sure that you mingle with blacks. You land in a black community. Make sure that you land in a black community. Make sure that you don't take anything drugs. Because if you go, if you take drugs, the airport is always tight. I don't know why some of us are always taking drugs. Safe. Make sure that you don't take any drugs. You understand? Make sure you land in a black community. Make sure that you don't hit China. If you are walking on the streets, avoid them. You understand? Avoid them. Some of them can even purposely jump in your front so that you will hit them and they will fall down on the ground just because of saying they want to collect money from you. So be very, very careful. You understand? So if you find this informative, if you find this educative, do not forget to click on the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and God bless you. I will see you guys in the next one.